so it does not be blurry. All right. So I've already like pushed around, and you can see that a tunnel's kind of starting to come up. You can see there when I kind of push the edges, then you can feel. Sometimes you can feel a knot. But I'm going to try to squeeze the rest of this tunnel out. You kind of go around the edges here. Starting to leak that pus. Sometimes they'll just pop out and sometimes they won't. Sometimes you don't even have a tunnel. Sometimes it's just the actual scab that's the thing. But you could usually tell if there's a... Uh, like a hard knot or you could see she's got a lot of swelling around so she's probably actually got more than just this in there but I'll probably just get what I can out and put her on some antibiotics moxicillin for a few days start taking the swelling down it might be all of it it's a little blurry For everybody that talks about, you know, you should use gloves. I've been doing this for over two years, and I've never been sick from it, so I'm not concerned about it. If you want to use gloves, you can. I see, still see there's still some in there. So I'll go different edges here and try to squeeze around and see where it's coming from. See, there's more. There's a tunnel just popped out. If you can see the tunnel, you can see the white stuff that leads down in the tunnel. And that's the actual infection. I'm guessing the, the tunnel is like the case that holds the infection. So that tells me that all of it may be out but some pus. You can see the other side. You can see the tunnel better like this once I clean it. See? Now, I believe that's going to be all of it. But I'm going to squeeze around just a little bit and make sure there ain't no more pus or anything in there. I'll do different edges to make sure there's nothing else. And actually, it come out, like, I think all of it come out because I don't really see any more pus or any more infection. Um, so I may not even do the antibiotics. I may just wrap it and keep, keep an eye on it for a couple days. You know, we don't want to do antibiotics. We don't have to. Um, I've already sterilized this to put an alcohol a minute ago. Um, actually, I'll just cut that off with some scissors. So just hold the skin, that tunnel up. Or you can just cut to it. it. Depends. I don't know if you need to hold yours up or not. But cut the tunnel off. You can see here. See, it looks clean. Like, I don't think anything else is in it. Stay still, baby girl. So, I'll spray with some peroxide. You don't want to use peroxide too much, because I actually found out that um, peroxide... I guess kills new new tissue that's trying to grow so just clean it you know the first I cleaned it before earlier but then uh, clean uh, clean it after and then I put some vetricin on it 
Sometimes I'll use Neosporin too, but I do like to use Manuka honey. Uh, honey is actually, it kills any of the bad bacteria. But uh, I bought this, shoot, about a year ago. I mean, it's still full. You can buy it at Walmart. Yeah, you can get it at Walmart. It's very expensive, but I mean, it, like I said, it goes a long way. And for anybody that's on EBT, it is EBT eligible. But I'll just smear some of that in there. And I only do this like once um, because it seems that their feet heal pretty quick. So um, I just only do it once. I like to do it after a good rain, a um, few hours after, because the scab has actually like loosened up and it's very, it's a lot easier to pop it out. And plus, it saves you a lot of back ache um, having to sit there and soak it, soak their feet multiple times. We didn't get much rain here this morning, but we did get some, so that did help a lot. These right here, I really like these. Um, they're triple layer nonstick pad compresses, but they're very soft and they're pretty thick. So if you can actually fold this uh, like four times. I wish I could get my gauze. Um, this is vet wrap and it's only like one inch. So um, I was using the, the thicker, but you've actually got to cut some of it off. So it's kind of like a waste. If you can find the one inch, it is a lot better. And we got it at Walmart. Yeah, it's like $3 and something for two rows. But uh, you don't need much of it because it does stretch. Uh, where do my scissors go? But I like these, uh, the gauze because they're real thick and it gives them some extra cushion while their foot's trying to heal. Hers is pretty sore. Like I said, there's a lot of swelling. So you got the Manuka honey, um, put that over it. No, no, Thelma. Um, make sure not wrap it too tight because I've seen people wrap it so tight that it just cuts off it turns their toes black. Yeah, it'll cut off circulation. Should have probably pushed it down a little further. Yeah. It just needs to be a little snug to keep it from falling off. That's it. I don't like to go in between the toes or anything like that. Um, usually I like to use one, but you can cut that pad in half too. That you know you can save on pads, and they don't need as much. Hers is pretty swollen, so it's probably pretty sore. See, don't pull it real tight. Just you know, just a little to where it's gonna stick pretty good. And that's that's all you gotta do. Hell messed up. That's all you gotta do right there and just kinda squeeze it down a little bit so the vet wrap is a lot better. But that's it. Hope it helps you out.